what's going on guys and how y'all doing it's your boy books over here live and colored back with another video for you guys we're gonna be playing some critical ops today this is not a live com this is a post commentary video and i just wanted to show you guys an awesome awesome gameplay that i got I got a nuclear spree. You're probably wondering what a nuclear spree is. Basically, it's when you go 30 and 0 in an FPS game. I don't think this game has any sort of reward for that because in Call of Duty, when you get 30 kills in a row, you get a medal or in the older Call of Duty, you used to get a streak that can end the game. You get some sort of reward that allows you to end the game. So basically, I went 30 and 0 in this game, man. No, it, it was amazing. My aim was on fleet this game. You know, uh, my timing was just perfect. Everything was just perfect. I mean, look at that. I'm just laying people down. <laughs> and I was rolling with the M4 carbine this game. It's a pretty, pretty good gun. Amazing gun. You know, I roll with the AK a lot. You know, because I really love the AK-47. Really simple, versatile. Can destroy close range, medium, and a long distance if you've got the accuracy. You know, but I was rolling with this gun. I was like, let me just try this out. You know, hopefully it would it will work out fine. And it was actually a pretty, pretty solid gun. You know, it just melts close range, man. They're close, a few bullets, and, and they're done. <laughs> so, you know, basically, if you want to go on a nice spree in this game, you just have to be smart about your movement and everything. You have to be moving from spawn to spawn, catching the enemy off guard. I mean, look at that guy. I hate the way some people play, though. I mean, look at that. He was just going to sit on that head glitch. You can't take him out. You know, you got, you got to get your awareness up if you're playing this game. That's the thing. It's all about those reflexes and awareness. It's not all about gun skill, guys. Sometimes you just, you know, have to be in the right place at the right time because... If you're behind the enemy, you can just lay him down easily. It's not all about the gun skill. Because sometimes if you're in the wrong place and the enemy's behind you, <laughs> your gun skill cannot save you there unless you turn on him and give him a 360 no scope. And look at this right here. Ooh, if my awareness wasn't high, that guy would have laid both of us down. My teammate didn't even look. You got to check your corners, man. You know, so sometimes that happens a lot. You get, I get shot in the back. It's the most frustrating thing, man. Look at this, my, your boy's aim was on fleek, you know, I was just laying them down from all across the map. Short range, medium range, long range, they couldn't stop your boy, they couldn't handle me. Ooh, I was scared, I thought that guy had a shotgun. Because normally when some people take a long time to shoot you, they're trying to get so close, and they can just bam, one shot you. <laughs> Man, it's been so frustrating, sometimes I want a nice spree, you just get one shot with a shotty. You know, but that's the game, man. Hopefully one time I'll use a shotty to piss people off, because <laughs> there's some overpowered shotties in this game, because... I picked up somebody's shotgun and I was able to like hit him from across the map. That was just crazy. A shotgun shouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> oh, look at that, man. I was in the right place at the right time. Most of them were sniping. So, you know, ooh, that shot, though. Most of them were sniping, so it made them easy targets. And I was able to just lay them off because they were focused on one spot, hard scoping across the map. So, you just lay them down. You know, and I realized over here that, ooh, I could actually get like a nice spree. So, I started taking my time. You know, moving slowly, moving uh, tactically and everything. You know, and this, this game is it's, it's really fun, man. It's a really, really fun game. Of Since I started playing, I've just enjoyed it so much, man. It's been really fun to play. You know, and it gets competitive, too. You know, there's some lobbies where, you know, the enemy is so good. You know, some people have the reflexes of a cat. <laughs> you know, I like those type of games. But sometimes you also like those games where there's so many noobs in the enemy team. And you can just lay them down. I mean, look at this. Well, he's facing a wall. I was like, what are you doing? Well, look at that guy right there. I just drooped him out. He thought I didn't see him. Bam, bam. What's good, bro? <laughs> I just took him out right there. And yeah, you just have to navigate quickly from spawn to spawn. Catch them off guard. That's what I like doing. You know, when I get a kill and I see my teammates are all bunched up on one side, you know the enemy's going to be on the other side. I mean, look at this. I'm sure this guy just came fresh off the spawn, not expecting to see anyone. I just took him out. Look at this guy right here. This place just scared me. I thought this guy was about to turn on me. The way he just turned so quickly. It was so scary, man. But yeah, you just got to be predictive of where the enemy is going to be and just catch them off guard. It's not all about the best gun skill and the best accuracy. You, you got to play smart, you know. Because if you're in the wrong place, there are like three enemies surrounding you. Yeah, that's it, bro. <laughs> that's it. I mean, look at this. These were the perfect enemies, though. In order to get like a nuclear spree or a nice spree, you know, you just need to have the perfect lobby. Look at this guy. I don't know what he was trying to do. <laughs> trying to hit me with a jump shot. This ain't Black Ops 3, boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was so funny, man. So yeah, I picked up the AK. I was rolling with it for a lot. It got to a point where I just had to use my pistol, you know. Nobody else was using a normal gun. That's, that part was really scary. Just lay this guy down real quick. So yeah, guys, if you want to become good at this game, if you want to become better, basically what you have to do is, you know, practice. You know, you just got to be repetitive about it. 
you know everything requires practice if you want to become good yeah this was the point in the game where uh i couldn't get any more ammo look at this i had 18 shots and i think i was so close to the nuclear and i just had 18 shots in this gun i was like wow nobody has a gun i just kept killing one guy and he just had a pistol the rest had snipers look at this i checked the score i had 23 kills in. i got 23 out of 31 kills of from my team that was just crazy man your boy was beasting so yeah, I just kept navigating around the map looking for somebody. I was looking for a gun. Look at this. After I killed this guy, I was like, what? Oh, he dropped another pistol, man. That was really frustrating. So I just rolled with this pistol. The, I, I forgot in the name. Is it the Woodland? I don't remember the name of this pistol, but it is a powerful pistol, man. Just need two shots to kill, and that's it. The guy's dead. So I tried to knife this guy real quick, but I saw he got into a gunfight. So I said, yeah, let me just take him out with the pistol. Look at that. Two shots back, back. He's dead. And he just had a sniper, and I, I'm the worst sniper. So yeah, I said, nah, I'm not using that. I'm not going to choke this new. I think I was 24 and old, just six more kills. And I can drop it. I can drop the nuke real quick. So I was playing so conservative at this point. Saw someone was coming on the right. You know, just took him out. Bang, bang. Look at that. And there was another guy. Yeah, there was another guy on the right. And I realized I was, I was out of ammo over here. I was like, no. So I just waited for him on this head glitch. I mean, look at this. This head glitch is so crazy. They barely see you when they come across. I mean, look at that. Oh, but this guy scared me, though. He, he had some nice reflexes. I don't know if he used a pistol or a sniper. Because if that was a sniper and he hit me, I would have been dead. You know, so I just needed a few kills to get that 30 and 0 spree at this point. And yeah, I was like, no, I can't choke this. Because I've choked so many nuclears on Black Ops 3. Look at it. This was perfect timing. You know, if I came across that corner a second earlier, that guy would have probably shot me in the back. You know, so this game is all about timing and everything. across the middle of the map. Oh, look at this. I don't know how this guy didn't kill me. <laughs> Give that guy some thumbs, man. I just moved across the middle of the map. You know, that was a risky play. I was looking for... I was looking for a gun, but I couldn't get one, man. And I just needed one more kill at this point to get that 30 and 0 spree. I saw my teammate in a gun battle and a gun fight with somebody over here. I was like, no, let me just move away. Because I had low health. If they just put like two bullets in me, that's it. And they were in a gun fight again. I just said, ah... I just realized my teammate had killed him, so I was like, hmm, does he have a gun? And no, he did not even drop a gun, it was so frustrating. And I said I'm not going to get into any long lines of sight, so I just stayed on the flanks, the flanks of the map, you know, and luckily I just saw this guy. I don't know what he was doing, I don't know if he was lagging or what, but he was just frozen on the boat, so I just got my last kill and that was the nuke. And I think I died once after the nuke. But it was such a crazy game, man. Oh, my goodness. I was so happy when I got it. I don't know if anybody else has been able to do this. But it was fantastic. You know, I just picked this guy off. I don't know if this guy just choked or he could hit. But this guy just hit me with a pre-fire. You know, I went 31 and 1 up to this point, man. That was just absolutely insane. 31 gun spree without dying. You know, it, it, was, it was beautiful right there. So, I think, yeah, that's the only time I died this game. I only died once. It was crazy. The highest kills I've got is 46 kills. That was an amazing game as well. I was on form in that game. I mean, look at this. The enemies were just AFK and stuff. It was, this game was pretty easy. There was another guy. Hit him with a jump shot. He thought he was slick, man. I hit you, boy. Where do you, you think you're going? <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah. I, I recorded a 50 kill, oh, sorry, a 50 kill challenge gameplay recently. And the video just spilled to export, man. It was... It was quite frustrating you know like the last 10 minutes of the video just cut out nothing was playing that's the most frustrating thing as a youtuber when you do a video and it doesn't even render out man it, it could it could get really frustrating but you know it is what it is yeah look at this guy he congratulating me the the weedo pl shout out to him man he said books gg you know I, I like when people show some good sport sportsmanship even though even even though they're on the like the losing team or the enemy team they show some good sport when they see one you know i'll show some good sport when i see one if i see someone who's really good i'm gonna call him out and say you're really good man you know keep it up you know, that's how it's got to be in the end it's just the game look at this i just clutched it out last nine bullets use it to kill this guy and he had a sniper oh my goodness what's with everybody in snipers why do people get attracted to sniping so much you know it's never really attracted me I like just using an automatic weapon and spraying and praying. <laughs> Not nah, maybe it's a trick shotting aspect, you know, jumping off a building, hit him with a 360 no scope or whatever. <laughs> but that doesn't attract me at all because I'm I'm really bad at sniping. I mean, look at this. I'm I'm just sitting in the corner <laughs> trying to get a sniper. Yeah, and I think I, I got saved by the bell over here. The guy came at the last second. 
He tried to lay me down and oh, say by the bell. Boy, you can't lay me down. Okay, guys, it's been your boy Books. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the future. Stay bookmarked. Peace. Get out of my face.